Have you ever seen Tyra Banks like avoid questions? They'd be like, so tell us about your, your ex-boyfriend. She's like, we're not talking about that. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Hi, everybody. I'm Chanel Adams, and welcome to my channel. So as you can see, I have the amazing, the fabulous, Ambi Gonzalez TV. Hi. We are in Bogota, Colombia. Sur America. Yes, sí. Estamos yes. aquí. Estamos aquí. And Hace I... frío. <laughs> no se queja. <laughs> Pero, yes, it's real cold over here. But I want you guys to stick around because we're going to go to Tierra Caliente. Pa, 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 pa. <laughs> secreto. Oh, yeah. We're not going to tell y'all where. You're just going to see the vlogs pop up like... <laughs> okay, okay. I have some really, uh, actually, just one major question for the beautiful Ambi Gonzalez. Wait, I didn't prep for this question. And that's okay. So, we're going to, <laughs> I'm going to ask her an amazing, huge, huge antic, which is not an English word, question that I think I want to know that I'm going to answer too. And I think you guys want to know. So, how has Spanish changed your life? Learning Spanish, how has it changed my life? Um, I can get a job anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <Honestly>. so <laughs> profound. <laughs> I mean, seriously, learning, lang well, I'll say learning Spanish, it's opened up so many doors for me because my first true Spanish speaking job was working as an interpreter. Can you guys believe that? Mm, wow. Like, I was interpreting between um, patients and the physician and the doctor, I mean. Um, and it was it was a hard job, but it was like the most beautiful feeling in the world. And money, good money. Money's so, good. Money is good. But seriously, it changed it's changed my life because I get to communicate with so many people. And when you think about it, like I have options. I can live in a lot of different countries because Spanish is spoken in countries in Africa. Yeah. Spanish is spoken all over Latin America, both South and North America. And Spanish is spoken in Europe, you know, so, I mean, it's a really big benefit. But mostly for me, it's, it's the job. Mm. You know, I think people in the States, they struggle so much with getting a job. Even people with degrees, yeah. they struggle. But when you speak Spanish, Espanol, mm. it don't even matter. None of that matters. Like, you're going to have a job. Yeah. So, I agree. I, I think... A lot of the same things have has happened to me mm -hmm. when I came back from Spain and I felt more comfortable with my Spanish and I put Spanish on my resume for the first time. That was her idea. <laughs> she told me, if you don't put Spanish on your resume. So I said, okay. So I put Spanish on my resume and I went for an interview. You got the job. I got Actually, I got the job like halfway through the interview. Claro que sí, porque yeah. quieren gente que habla en español. Exactly. <laughs> and I actually picked my my salary. They were offering me something lower and I told them that I'm not going to take the job if it's not higher. And they gave me what I asked for. I couldn't believe it. I'd never done that before. I was so afraid to ask. Yeah. But I I was told that a lot of times women don't make a lot of money because they don't ask. So I said, I'm going to take my chance and ask even though I was desperate for a job because I just left Spain broke. <laughs> But you weren't broke, <laughs> girl. Okay. <laughs> but I, I got the job the same day before I left that building. I knew I had the job, and while being there, I obviously worked with a lot of the Latino customers. But I actually started unofficially being a contract interpreter for the customers. Oh, okay. Yes, because mm -hmm. a lot of the contracts were in English, and even though I begged upper management to translate the contract in Spanish because mm -hmm. there are so many customers in Spanish, they didn't want to spend the money to do so. So I ended up being an unofficial uh, interpreter for that company and I realized that I loved being an interpreter. So yeah. I would love to pursue that one day in addition to a million other things that I want to do in this life. Welcome to the <laughs> interpreting world. Woo! where companies don't want to pay interpreters no. the big bucks so they just look for bilingual people and you know you pretty much ask for what you want yeah 
So obviously, you know, it takes more than just being bilingual to be an interpreter. Absolutely. But being bilingual can put your foot through the door like a million percent. Yes. So if you guys have dreams of learning another language, of traveling the world, please just do it. Like, don't don't stop. I can't stress to you all how much you all need to follow. She followed her dreams and I'm so proud of Chanel. She's following her dreams and I'm so proud of Amber. Like, you don't know how many people you inspire. You inspire me and you guys can tell her how much she inspires you guys. So Chanel, but you are a big inspiration. <laughs> You I really thank you are. For that. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, because so, we are the definition of black girl magic. Black girl magic. Seriously, like when I hear black girl magic, I think of like my black friends yes. that are like fighting against the stereotype. You know how people yes. make us look in the States, you know, the media and stuff. This so. is why it's important to have YouTube and have people mm -hmm. like us, Nibby, my sister Dana. It's so important to have us. On, yeah. on YouTube, in the media. So guys, it doesn't just have to be us. You guys show how powerful you are by using your intelligence and of course, the beauty. <laughs> but it's Can y'all imagine having a friend like Chanel? Like she's always <laughs> so motivating and stuff. Like I surround oh. myself with positive people. Same. She really is so positive. Like, oh, you are. Thanks. <laughs> Well, that's all for now because the sun is going down. Be awesome. Oh, yes. But we are going to Tierra Caliente. So stick around to see where that's going to be here in Colombia. We're going to be vlogging and acting a fool. Uh, with my Girl, don't on. be trying to leave me by myself. You know, I'm going to act a fool by my damn self. <laughs> you know, did you just curse? I don't think I heard you curse before. Damn is not a curse word. Oh, God. We not gonna have this discussion on here. <laughs> but make sure you guys stick around to see where we're going. This is going to be amazing. Yeah. So again, follow your dreams, work really hard, and you can do it. See? <laughs> Bye. Nos vemos pronto.